follow me now. Yes? So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all. Even foster daughters. I am no danger! Leave me be! Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once, before you can compete. Surrender, or prepare to meet your... Are you ready to compete, then? The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles, set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. You must... You must fall for the greater good. You must fall for the greater good. Surrender, or prepare to meet your end. Surrender, or prepare to meet... <gasps> You must fall for the greater good. <coughs> Surrender, or prepare to meet your end. <coughs> well done. A perfect score wins the competition outright. I've rarely seen such a fine performance, so early in the day. You have a marksman's instinct. That much is plain. Go on now, there's still more of the fair to see. Enjoying the fair? Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. I expect you are here for the aptly named Knave's Challenge. Surrounded by muck and reek, and why not encourage our children to be thieves as well? That's what I always tell them. Come to think of it, I don't believe any of you has the skills to compete. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. But you'll need to find someone who can pick pockets and break locks and search for hidden trinkets if you want to compete. Lock breakers? Pocket pickers? I don't know anyone like that. Do you? What about Kip? 
He's always nicking vials from Tarmus, and he's right over there behind the tent. Isn't that the boy who stole my basilisk eyelash? And not once, but four times. That's right. My frog needed eyelashes. Then I got him a sweetheart, and she needed him too. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I'll settle with the young artiste and his frogs later. Before you begin, I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. All the more unfortunate for me, then. It's always better to have a willing audience, especially when one's material is particularly dreadful. But Georg asked for a rhyme. That's what wizards do, after all. We compose rhymes. Here, I'll demonstrate. <clears throat> I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. Count yourself fortunate for that. I once shared a wagon with a kobold bard. He rhymed sadder with bladder and sang fondly of his navel. As dreadful as it was, did you understand what the rhyme meant? Yes. 